Yeah, I think, you know, one more example um, and a really tangible uh, testament to ownership's commitment to handing the keys over to women in the front office and empowering players, uh, listening and soliciting feedback from the union, from uh, uh, former players, um, is, is this enormous uh, new Utah Royals training center. Um, ownership has basically handed over the keys to myself, to head coach Amy, to our sporting director Kelly and said, we don't want to just do something because it has been done in the past. Um, this is a new era. The decision to build out a huge campus um, and tr a new training center uh, dedicated to, to soccer, to RSL and the Utah Royals out in Harriman uh, was the ultimate decision and, and could not uh, be more excited about all the opportunities that that is as opening. The indoor facility is the largest freestanding indoor uh, training space in the Western Hemisphere. Um, it's something that internationally stands out. I think anyone that comes to Utah and that witnesses it for the first time takes your, your breath away. It's at that level. We've had in, international teams coming from our sporting director, Kelly Cousins, you know, her first visit that we had just a few weeks ago was totally blown away um, with the facilities. They're top of the world. We're hopeful to have it uh, completed by the beginning of the season. Um, that being said, the, the space that we have at our disposal out there is massive. Uh, we have the enormous benefit of having an obviously incredible relationship with our RSL Academy, with our RSL staff. Um, there will be a period of um, cooperation and collaboration um, and as you said, uh, some indoor training as well during, during the preseason. Uh, but we're really, really optimistic and um, hopeful that it will be, be ready at, at, at the start of the year. And now, you know, as we see the architectural renderings coming together, we finalize the concept plans, we're putting bows on the final, all the final details. It's, it's clear this is far and away the best decision that ownership, that the front office could have made for our players, for our sporting staff, to make sure that these women have the absolute state of the art and beyond in terms of infrastructure, resources, training at their fingertips, at their disposal, fully dedicated, exclusive to the women while on a campus um, with our men and with Real Salt Lake as one Utah, one RSL family.